Start your morning with the bang. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, 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 the time is definitely six minutes past eight o'clock. We have, as promised, as promised, we have our guest in the studio here with us today, right? Yeah! So let's jump. Do uh, you know, there's something in my eyes. For the first time in my life, I'm nervous. Really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I am, and I have no idea why. I know why. We have, we have had I guests before. Why. Yeah! I've never been nervous, <laughs> yeah. but I am nervous now. No, but like from all the guests that we've, we've had, apart from, forgive me, the mm -hmm. one that came and uh, and I was starstruck. Remember? Okay. Yeah. Apart from me, <coughs> I think she's the actor that we had. That's the actor. <laughs> oh, so I was the actress, but not yeah. Not actress. She's still an actress. She's an actress. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Uh, so we are trying in the studio by the lovely Mimi Matlasela, right? Yes. Yes. And she's beautiful in real life. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, oh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, how are you this morning? Good morning, everybody. San Bernardo Studio. Hello, Good everyone. Morning. So, you, if you are saying you are nervous, I get nervous all the time. Let okay. me just do that so, so that we break the ice on this. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. I get nervous all the freaking time for every radio interview for every TV interview for work. Okay. So mm -hmm. I on it I'm on call every day. Mm -hmm. So I still get nervous every day. And if you don't get nervous, this is what someone told me once. Mm -hmm. If you don't get nervous it means you've become comfortable. Oh so nervous is nice. a good thing. Oh, oh, okay. oh so it means I'm on the right track. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We all have go. <laughs> It means I'm on the right track. Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Before we can actually go, please uh, do the honors. Okay, well, definitely. So, Nobushe Mimi Mashasela was born in Alexandra, a township north of Johannesburg. Nobushe, fondly known as Mimi, has been in the entertainment industry for 15 years. In these years, she established her portfolio in TV, film, voiceover work, MC work, producing, and stage. Theater. She's worked. She's worked with re renowned brands in advertisement such as Game Stores, Rama, Vanish, Roman Spita, Nando's, and Old Mutual, which includes voiceover work with Spa and Espo. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I should say this in Afrikaans because we're going there. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you know her as an actor. So she's well known for her role on the Sutter and You Spectacular Award. Winning so PC even the Lord as Aggie, which is on SBC <laughs> 2 and 6 weekdays. So she landed her first movie role as a female traffic officer on Leon Schuster Mad Buddies. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Everybody <laughs> remembers that. <laughs> She's also starred in a movie, uh, it's called My Father's War and many others. And as a theatre trained actress, she was recently on stage at the Joburg Theatre in an all-star cast play called The Caucasian Car Chalk Circle and yes. Josie Jesus. She recently co-presented a reality TV series, she's climbing the leather, <laughs> called Africa's Next Plus Size Model and Cape TV on DSTV. Apart from her television and stage work, she does motivational speaking and a fuller figured model. She is also a proud ambassador of Gaddafi Skin Care SA. Hmm. Yeah. And yeah, her social citizenship, apart from her acting, Mimi is intimately involved in advocating and promoting body positivity amongst women. Number one, raising Number funds one. and what she needed <laughs> good for local communities. I mean, how do you get nervous after such a huge celebrity? Yeah, like, after, like, after it's, like I actually, it's the first time that I realize how long it is. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and there's still so much more I want to achieve. Yeah. So, uh, like, the fact you're the younger, young, young, I'm like, is, is it really mine? So, <laughs> but it is, it is all mine. Um, I've, I've got now, what, 15, 16 years in the industry. <laughs> Um, so it, it should be that long. Yeah. Others, yeah. others are longer, and yeah. I'd like mm -hmm. to extend mine. Mm -hmm. um, also, um, it's just been a privilege, man, and mm -hmm. and honestly, a, a, a fabulous ride. Mm -hmm. Hard, very hard, long hours. Um, but if you don't have the determination and the discipline and the professionalism, well. you will you will fall apart because mm -hmm. it's not yeah. as glamorous as it seems. 
we, 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 we see the final product yeah, exactly. and we think yeah. 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 this thing is easy, I can do it as well. It's not, yeah, no. Actually, once I had a friend who actually thought acting was easier, right? Mm -hmm. And then attended auditions and actually got the role yeah. and then went to shoot and they made him a lead. Yeah. So now he was actually under pressure because he had to shoot with this one and then move from shooting with yeah. this one to, you know? Yeah. And then after that, it was like, I'm actually done. I'm, 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 this is not easy. This is yeah. actually hard. It's yeah, a lot of work. It takes split. a lot of time away from you. Mm -hmm. uh, in your senior you really don't have time to be with friends and family because you're always at work. Mm -hmm. um, what happens with us is particularly with soapy actors. Mm -hmm. You are shooting from 12 hours every day from Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. And then on weekends, there's road shows that you must. So you hardly ever have oh, time yeah. to I see your loved ones. And when you do, you like. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> I've got to, I've got to save these times. You yes, know, it's yes, a lot of work, and yeah. and I always say to people that I think even with social media now we've made it look easy mm -hmm. because you see everything we're like oh, I'm here now, and I'm mm -hmm. and meantime yeah. when I'm not selfieing and not showing you yeah. where I am, it's it's just work. And I'm showing sure you yeah. out in the car somewhere on your way to a gig, and we'll yeah, it's crazy. That's why you've got to have a team yeah. that helps you to get to your next um your next gig, your next interview, your, mm -hmm. so you mm -hmm. can have resting time in between because it's insane. Okay, so yeah. do you have a team? I, I have a team. <laughs> Fabulous people. Uh -huh. um, I've got a manager, Kamalaka okay. um, she, she runs everybody else. She delegates. Okay. Who oh, does that. Okay. Yeah. Because then, I, at first I used to do everything on my own and then I realized that like I don't have the hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes there's emails that, that, that come in, they need a request of this and, and I'm stuck on set and mm -hmm. I can't respond. Mm -hmm. So it looks like you are not communicating yeah. with yeah. people. Yeah. So that's why mm -hmm. you've got to have a team that attend to requests that come in as soon as they can. They can do whatever that, that, that needs to be done when you are stuck on set. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I can, I can actually imagine. Speaking of the long hours and the road shows and all of that, right? Yeah. How was your weekend? Did you have any gigs? My best friend's 40th birthday. Okay. Um, that was beautiful. That was amazing. Too much dancing. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> too much dancing and too uh -huh. much happy juice. I call it happy juice. Um, so at my age, <laughs> you can't do both in one night. Yeah, you yeah. must decide which are you gonna dance or just happy juice. Yeah. If you do both of them, dance and happy juice in one night, the next day it's a wrap. It's, it's, it's gonna be a problem. problem. It's gonna be a problem. You are not waking up for anything. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and I had a good time to, uh, catching up with um um with my friends, which was much needed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think it was on Friday, right? It, it was on Friday. What day are we on Monday? We Monday. Yeah, on Monday. It was on Saturday. It was on Saturday. Yes. I think I saw you and I was like, I was talking you and I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> She's having fun. Oh, I hope right. she will make it Monday. Yes. <laughs> Like I hope she will make it Monday. <laughs> yeah, it was Saturday. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any questions, guys? Yo. Okay. I've got this question. Yeah. I've been dying to ask you for the whole weekend. Yeah. So. I'm number one, I'm proud that you're here. Yeah, I've been watching you since I was a kid when my grandparents forced me to my series and I never thought I'd only want to. So yes, big ups I've got an <laughs> house. Yes, <laughs> okay, so what I wanna know is uh your role is Eggie. You've been speaking Africans from the get go. Yeah. Right. So what do you think now that the dilemma of Simon Dillon is changing and now they're bringing English and vernacular inside like I think Are you okay with that? Yeah, um, I mean, I think uh, Sia Wonderland is the only soapy that, South African soapy that is so diverse in terms of, of, of our cultures and representing different cultures. Mm -hmm. So it's a good thing. And also we've got an audience that we can teach about different cultures. Because predominantly Sia Wonderland is mm -hmm. uh, white African speaking or okay. African speaking. Yeah. But over the years it has changed so much. Mm -hmm. The demographics have showed us that Black people watch Seven Land more, mm -hmm. so um, also to introduce the black culture to the white culture as well, because we are all one at the end of the day. Yes. We are all South yes. Africa, you know. Despite our history, we are trying to move forward and make things work. So we've got to learn each other's ways and each other's cultures. And I think yeah. I think Seven Land is great in that essence that it's the it's one of the only um, South African soapies that is quite diverse in that sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. okay. Speaking of Seven Dylan, who is that one person you look forward to seeing when you go to work like, um, <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see this man man, you all never. You know, they used to, it used to be actors most of the time, mm -hmm. all the time it used to be actors, but now it's my dialogue coach, mm -hmm. her name is Karen, um, a very, very old lady but very young at heart and very energetic, Karen Radif. Mm -hmm. um, and when it comes to, to um, 
to the actors, it's uh, I don't know, um, <laughs> Nicholas. <laughs> he, he plays, I think it's Dr. Figani on the show. Mm -hmm. um, he's also a musician, Nick Soul. Mm -hmm. um, it's that because yeah, if there's one person that just really gets me, then it's him. And then there's um, I'm, I, I always say at work, I'm more of a crew member than actor because I'm always oh, chilling with the crew. Okay. <laughs> so it's all in, in production. One of my closest friends, Cherry Team Mutame, who's also there. Mm -hmm. um, Mapule is also there and I'm We've been stalking you for the longest time <laughs> You're very proud of where you are from, right? Yeah. You're always in Alex, I mean, you're always Especially where Ziwa Kwan, like in, like in Alex, you're always uh, Yeah In this place, you're always there to support it all the time, right? Yeah uh, Why is that? Why didn't you say, I'm now famous, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I can't be found a corner in a car, see Yeah, Yabo. I'd be lying, then I wouldn't be who I am Okay, okay. So, And also, I don't know mm -hmm anywhere else yes i've been to the fancier places i've been to bias visa zone yeah, yeah. you know but there's no place like home yeah. as cliched as it sounds there's literally no place like home okay. Okay. i'm familiar with home and also home has embraced me like i did not think anyone in alex would be watching cf in the land yeah when i started at cf in the land um i thought to myself oh, no one's gonna notice what i'm doing yeah like three months I'm shooting and then because we shoot at the time we were three months ahead. So I started appearing on A and it makes how many takes at the time. So I'm getting off a car at Dead in the Roosevelt and I'm walking home. Mm -hmm. And all I heard was a bunch of kids and the, the old theme song at the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I, like, I remember the song. This is so strange. <laughs> Cause I didn't and, and home embraced me, so I would be silly if I ditched home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you understand yeah. what I mean? Like mm -hmm. so for me it's 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 also about I grew up there. Um, home loves me. I love home. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. Like mm -hmm. they can take everything else that's fancy. Yeah. It was in my third year, uh, um, and we had like a showcase for industry directors and casting directors. Okay. And one of the directors at Seven Line came, and he was like, "Oh, we've got this role, but it's a very small role." Yeah. Um, it's only just for two months we would like for you to do it mm -hmm. and at the time we were not allowed to work professionally in the industry while you're studying mm -hmm. so they spoke to my dean at the time and my dean's like look she's towards her end of her third year so it's fine yeah she can do it and it's only for two months okay and then i did that um and then the rest is history oh okay <laughs> and they didn't so, know yeah I you know. Not to me too much. <laughs> so apparently um i did quite well in the sense that um after the after the two month storyline, mm -hmm. um, I think I went back and finished school. And after that, they wrote my agent at the time a letter to say would really like to sign her on okay. for a year contract. And then twenty twenty one. We are here. Yes. yes. <laughs> Let go. Exactly. Yeah, true, exactly. True. Still more to come with Usi Snowmutle. All right. Uh, if anyone wants to interact with you throughout the show, where do they find you on social media platforms? Uh, on social media, on Instagram, I am at Nobuse One. Okay. On Twitter, I am at Nobuse One. On Facebook, I am at Nobuse Mimi Masasela, the actress. Okay. Nice. nice. you guys it's Ndu over here better known as Ndu Cash I have a question for our guest and what I want to know from the guest is that firstly South Africa doesn't respect arts and artists are not given the flowers and the recognition that they deserve they instead taken advantage of and our government does never take the time to celebrate our South African artist. I mean, Nomza Mumbat is been international now. She's doing big things, representing our country on a global platform. But she isn't given, like, you know, the recognition that she deserves. I feel like um, our South African Arts Minister is really letting down artists. So, what what's her take on that? I want to know what does she think of South Africa not giving artists the respect that they deserve. This could be musicians, actors, actresses, performers, directors, and writers. And if given the chance to change the arts industry, what would she change personally? Thank you so much for your comment. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you so much for listening to The Best Thing on the Planet, right? Uh, did you hear the question? I did hear the question. Very good question. Okay. Um, when I started in the industry, we were told we are not covered by labor law, first and okay. foremost. 
we are the only industry that's highly taxed. Um, we get taxed 25 percent from whatever we earn. So um, from the get-go, I already knew that we don't have support from a stru uh, government structure point of view. Okay. Um, it is very sad and it is disheartening because at the end of the day, we work so hard to proudly represent not only where we come from as in our townships, but South Africa as a whole. Because mm, mm, um, the, the, the listener also said, uh, mentioned Inom Zamo, yeah. to Sombedu as well, <laughs> yeah. who just yeah. recently landed a big role. Um, mm. And it, it's, it's disheartening, but at the end of the day, what pushes me is on, honestly not to rely on government at all. Yes, not to yes, have yes. any sort of expectations. Yes. Because it's like, you know, it's like beating, a, a, a beating yourself against the wall. Like, I, I don't think, the number one, I don't think they, they, they understand how the arts works. It's not a corporate um, uh, environment, so you can't treat us like corporate. So, first of all, they need to put someone that's a minister that understands how the art works. That's what I would change. But other than that, guys, to all aspiring artists, musicians, <coughs> actors, um, painters, poets, whatever, like just keep doing your thing and not have any sort of expectations so you are yes. not greatly disappointed because Actually. it is disappointing. I like that, I like that. And I like for the fact that if you were to be in position, uh, you would uh, actually put someone who who has an experience, right? Yeah, I heard something. I'm not going to mention names, obviously, because <laughs> I'm going to get into trouble. <laughs> we, we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want so that. I heard something that was, that's why I, I, I suppose have the least expectations about when it comes from government point of view. I heard something when someone once said, when ministers get portfolios as mm. to which industry mm. to, to be the minister of, when they get the arts and culture, they're like, oh, they've just downgraded me. Oh my word. Oh, that day, I was like, oh, no, okay. They, okay, <laughs> okay. But we've got so much more to offer. And, 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 and like, so much talent out there as yeah. well. Yeah. Like, literally, yeah. I think we could run the country. Yeah, yeah. The true. Country. Exactly. 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 We can run exactly. the country. But mm -hmm. if that's how they feel, then that's how they feel. And I think for me, because I'm like that in life more generally, I just disengage myself when I know I'm not wanted and I'm not supported. Mm -hmm. So I'm not. I'm not saying that people should do that. We should still continue to fight and try and yes. change government's perspective about the arts and culture. But just me personally, I'm just like, oh, okay, I'll just show you through my work mm -hmm. what I'm worth. Yeah. I like that. I yeah. like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. It's a very, it's a, it's a powerful topic that she's touched on. Mm -hmm. um, because look, at the end of the day, yo know, guys, like there's a lot of, there's a lot of dodginess going on in every industry mm. and since I've been in this industry I mm. have fortunately not been in a situation where I've been invited to somebody's house, house for, for an audition, audition okay. to dinner for an audition an audition must just happen at the studios at the casting mm -hmm. director now when I director I was wins audition it's the casting that there's a casting director <clears throat> yes. that's an independent source from the production oh okay okay and the casting <clears throat> director is the one that does the auditions so when a director or producer it doesn't make no. sense that's not your role your role is to actually no. get the and then these people they, they go to these auditions and then they get the jobs and then they get underpaid mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because now it's a, ah, it's mm -hmm. my person. No, it exactly. shouldn't be like that. Everything should be kept from a professional point of view, and that's it. Yes. Yeah, and so that is even it. Even tomorrow, when you have a complaint or you're not happy, exactly. you have somewhere to run to and something exactly. to rely on. It's, yeah. it's, it's honestly unfortunate, Uguti, um, especially young up and coming actors that, that want to get into the industry. I can only speak for the acting mm -hmm. part of it yes, because, yes. you know, um, it's, it's unfortunate that they, they've had to encounter such things and such incidences when it's not right to anybody that wants to be in the industry get yourself an agent that's the best thing you can do yeah get yourself an agent and an agent will never ask you to pay money up front mm. yes yes an yes. agent you join them for free mm -hmm. and when they get you the job that's where they that's get their they, their percentage mm -hmm. from you. They, you don't pay up front mm -hmm. so google when you're in job google um um, South, Af uh, South African PMA, um, PMA yeah, yeah, PMA, and in Cape Town they've also got. Mm -hmm. and they will never ask you guys to make a payment and deposit money into their account no, when they haven't worked for you as yet. Mm -hmm. They only get payment once they've gotten you a job. Usually, what they do is they ask you sure. for an audition before you come and you audition, yeah. and then yeah. they sign. If they like you, they then sign. They you. sign you on. <laughs> so now that you have studied, right? Because to you, this is not actually flu. <laughs> yeah, I flu. This thing, it's in you. It's yeah. you, right? Yeah. Would you advise? Anyone to say please go study, or would you say night talent? Right, even 
if you have talent, you can actually do this. No, even if you have talent, you can actually do it. But mm. I would advise them to go and study still, simply because it just gives you a step ahead from the rest. Oh, in yes, okay, in terms okay. of um, um, theatre, mm -hmm. especially if you want to go into theatre, um, contract as well and um how to read your contract what this means and what that means and you know okay. so that you are literally just not dumbfounded when you are you are finally on set and working on a production nice nice, nice. the dominated other gods uh, cast my audience how has it been oh, for her <laughs> wasn't there yep. any racial yep. racial uh scenes right, or so comments or anything yeah. how has it been for her to work out to work in that cast and having to know that the audience is also dominated and populated by African people. Uh, did you get that? Okay. I did get that. Okay. Um, you know, I was honestly, I'm not gonna try and paint a very nice picture of or sugarcoat anything. Me, I don't know if it's my demeanor or, but I was warmly welcomed. Okay. Like I was, I didn't feel any. There was no any racial issues. There mm -hmm. was, I, I even today, like maybe yes, personal issues because as we are different as people, yeah. 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 and every yeah. now and again we'll work, we will step on each other's toes. Mm -hmm. But in terms of of race, I I personally have never experienced it, and I would not say that um, I was in a situation where it was like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. racism. No, I was. Oh, yeah. I, I do. Were fortunate I, enough not to not to face that. Like as I say, maybe it's mm -hmm. my demeanor, and if they did. I don't think we would all be here. I feel like you are too oh, strong. Okay. I'm sure you just have to go off. You are like, uh, racism. Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you are there. You are actually wow. running off. Right? Yeah, no, but also there isn't. Like, everybody is just there to do their work. Mm -hmm. And, I've, yo, I work on such a professional set, guys. Yeah. I work on such a professional set. It looks professional set. as well, right? When I go when to other sets, mm -hmm. I want to scream because I'm like, who? <laughs> I work on such a professional set and, and the people there are all about their work which is amazing. Okay. Um and, and there's no there's no stardom at Seven Land. I don't know if, if that makes sense. No, yeah, there's no ha ha pet me and celebrity. Oh, there's none of that. Uh, like, everyone everyone is humble. so humble yeah, and chill, yeah, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. Um and I, 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 on other sets I've never experienced experienced the stardom thing either. Mm -hmm. Um but it's 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 a nice set to work on. Mm -hmm. Very strict very professional but mm -hmm. then you get to value it once you are on another, on, on another set then because you you're like realize. oh okay like it's a very good um <clears throat> i would say um a foundation for teaching you professionalism in the industry mm -hmm. definitely directing on other um on other shows i would love to do that i would mm -hmm. love to tap into that also producing content okay. producing i i'm currently in the process of producing stuff so yeah and okay. what do you love about the role that you're playing, Eggy? What, what do you love about <laughs> Guys, like, it's so interesting that you asked me that, you asked me that question in uh -huh. particular. The last two weeks, I'm like, Eggy irritates me. Oh, wow! Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, I watch Playback, oh, not in a bad way. Uh -huh. I love playing her. Uh -huh. That means I'm doing a good thing, you know, mm -hmm. because I was like, why yeah. is she irritating me so much? Like, lately, she's just this person that's just, hey, hey, you yeah. yeah. And uh -huh. I'm just like, girl, just stay in your lane. Uh -huh. But what I love playing about Eggy is that she's always um, like she's always got a positive perspective on things. Mm -hmm. Irregardless. Yeah, yeah. yeah irregardless. Mm -hmm. And I wish I had that as a meme because can't you? I, I, I can't, it's not easy to just and, uh, take like it. Like it's not. It, it really, <laughs> especially because they write the character, oh, so it's not okay. really, you know. <laughs> um, I I do have. I am a positive person. I'd, I'd like to think that about myself. Mm -hmm. I do, however suffer a lot from um, anxiety and depression okay. so some incidences in my life will keep me there and then sometimes I'm like I, I don't want to live anymore mm. so it's it's I wish I had that okay. that Aggie has that I'm able to say okay I realize it's bad I realize it's, it's <clears> challenging <throat> I realize it's this and this and then get up and, and do and something and do something I take a long time to do that as, okay. as me, me so I, I I draw a lot from Egg. I try I try to be like, okay, let's see what what would Egg do in the situation. You know, and, mm -hmm. and that's the one thing I love about my character, which is just full of positivity. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. Yes, okay. but 
theatre all the way because I'm a theatre trained actress. So oh, okay. I, 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't want anything else, you know. Yeah. So that's why now and again I break away to go into a play or something okay. like that. But um, theatre, theatre, any, any given day. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's hear this voice now. Morning, guys. Trevor and Madrid, yeah. Uh, well, first things first, thanks for a good show once again. Uh, welcome, or good morning, rather, <laughs> to your guests. You see, I feel part of your team now, that's why I need to welcome. <laughs> anyway, uh, good morning to Nobushe, lovely name, suits her very well. Uh, I don't have a comment, I don't have a question, rather. It's more just a comment to appreciate and say thank you. Uh, she's no different to some of the leading actresses in the country that have been on soapies for a very, very long time. And we've grown up watching her as well. The same way we've grown up watching anyone on a Generations, yeah. anyone on Yes Dingo. And so, yeah, she's she's done a great job on Seven Delon and we grew up watching her for the longest time and she's been doing a great job. And and now she's venturing to other things. So thank you to her, first of all, and all the other ventures that she's going into. Best of luck. And yeah, man, keep working hard. Yeah, we appreciate her work and make you keep shining. Thank you, guys, for a great show. It sounds from, from, from the hood. Oh. <laughs> I, I could be wrong, but thank you so much, Nyabo. And I, I feel welcomed since you are welcoming me. Yeah. Thank you for welcoming our guests in our show. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm going back to Eggy. Yes. I want to know um, the wedding that you had. Yes. Would you want that to happen again? Like, maybe, do you, would you want that to, let's say, in your reality wedding, would you want it to be like that or way better? Cause I, I, I Gosh. A, a showstopper. <laughs> that was a massive wedding. Oh, First and foremost, I would not want my wedding to happen over one day. We shot that wedding for three days. I was oh, finished. Boy. I was at my sickest at the time. I was so ill. Uh -huh. We shot that wedding over three days. So um, it was beautiful. It was lovely. I enjoyed every moment. It was also it's hard because you're you're also acting and then there's all these yeah. technical things and then you are wearing the most amazing designer in South Africa's dress and her is amazing. Oh, I've worn I've worn this stuff before, oh. but like now you must showcase this and it's heavy and now you are sick. I would not want it to be more than two days. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I, I I loved every bit of it. It was it, the the team as a whole did amazing from mm -hmm. wardrobe to art department to script writers production on the day they literally made me feel like a bride nice. like i literally walked out of makeup and they started ululating i'm like hey guys did you, did you at some point believe that you're actually getting hey. no not at all, yeah. no, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> i would like my wedding to be simpler um one day if it were up to me i'd like to just you know yeah? Okay. Yeah. Why is that? No, man. Ah, for wedding. Guys, like, you must feed them, you must dance for them. You, you must know? do everything. Yeah. I don't mind feeding you guys. Just don't, 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 don't expect it to be the more pressure. than pressure. Okay. That's pressure. a lot of pressure. Yeah. And also, I think in, 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 I thought by now I would be married. Um, but in, 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 in growing older, I realized that the fuss is not so necessary mm -hmm. because it's just a wedding day. Yes, you celebrate your love and you celebrate getting married. But there's a marriage afterwards that has to last yeah. four years that yeah. you've got to work on. Exactly. Unfortunately, some flowers and you're having fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish we had four hours with you guys. Yeah. So much. And I still have questions that are still unanswered here. <laughs> and Precious is already outside. She's going to kill me. Uh, please ask uh, one last questions or one wishes before. No, I, um, I, I don't have any questions. I'm just happy because I've been working since I was in primary and imagine <laughs> I'm 24 years old now. So I'm happy. I feel I'm very happy of your work. And even though I don't watch Seven Delan as much as I did, mm -hmm. Michelle and BT, I still love you. Please watch it. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely will. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we're going back. 
Uh, and your first guest, uh, oh, since, we yes. have signed, since we have signed a new deal with Wimpy, thank you so Yay. much for coming through. Uh, yeah, we, know, we appreciate it. Thanks uh -huh. to Mrs. Snowbutler for coming through and thanks to our sponsor. Uh, the official Wimpy Santin, right? Yes. So uh, if I'm in Santin, uh, uh, please pay them a visit and uh, just give me a call. I'll pay for your breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> the coffee's good. Yeah, I'll pay for your breakfast, right? <laughs> Whenever you're at Wimpy, tell them Dando sent you and they'll flip me okay. the bill. I'll pay it. I'll <laughs> pay it. Thank you so much for having me, guys. It's a and plan. all the best. Um, we spoke of air yes. Um I'm, 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 I'm wishing you all the best and it's just keep rising. Thank you. Thank thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you're such a humble oh, soul. Thank you. Yeah, I, I try. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, Mama, I can't wait to go see my mom now. <laughs> uh, goodbyes. Oh, well, um, we're still going to be here. Yeah, so, thank you so much for tuning in. Please join me. Same time, same place. I am Winnie Fulham. She's the queen of the house. The yellow suit girl, and I'm signing out. <laughs> Yo, what is the house you're leaving? Look, what is the house you're leaving now? Now it's no, okay. Anyway, so, I'll still be giving you the news from nine till twelve. Uh, nine till eleven thirty. Please stay tuned uh, as yeah, precious take you through the weekday news. Exactly, precious is coming through with the weekday news. This is Kamu Mondando. In this one, the women are talking about some of the Mr. Phil, because I feel good at doing it for two, because I definitely feel good. Yeah. Cost for every child. Yeah. Well, back to more same time, same place. Are you getting that? Yeah. Uh, I love you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Wimpy. Red is my favorite color, just by the way. Oh, yeah, it's best. <laughs>